Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Back in March, as I posted, Microsoft announced their Microsoft 365 AR Copilot that integrates ChatGPT into Microsoft Apps. Now, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. But um, my reason for mentioning this is because, as I have posted previously as well, Google is working on a very similar concept called Duet AR, which is basically their answer to Microsoft's 365 Copilot. And they've been working on this quietly um, behind the scenes, as we would say. And um, Duet AR basically uses generative AR uh, in um, Google Apps like Docsheets, Slides, Gmail, and so on. And as mentioned, um, basically it's Google's answer to Microsoft's 365 Copilot. So um, I thought I'd just collate a couple of the key announcements that Google has made recently regarding uh, Duet AR. And then at the end of the video, if you do want to stick around and would be interested, just have a look at one or two changes that Google um, will be making and is making in Google Chat. So if you are tied into the Google ecosystem, um, then you may find this video useful and of interest. Now, the first uh, Duet AI example is um, seen using Google Docs. And regarding this, uh, Google has um, recently made an announcement over on Twitter. Um, they say Duet AI um, now can help you write in Google Docs, as we can see. And the example used here... Uh, is um, job post for a regional sales rep. They carry on to say um, it also uses smart chips for info and variables for details you'd want to customize, helping you go from concept to completion faster, which is available in Google Workspace Labs today. Now, Google Workspace Labs, we'll take a look at shortly, but that today they are referring to was around about the 5th or 6th of June. So this announcement is recent and was made just a couple of days ago. Now, moving on to the next example and using Duet AR in Google Slides. And yeah, we can see it's all happening here to the right-hand side. So very similar to Microsoft 365 Copilot. And Google says they are making it easier to create unique and compelling visuals for presentations with Duet AR. Um, you can generate original visuals to convey your unique artistic vision all from a simple prompt in Google Slides, as we can see, which says, help me visualize. So that's generative AR being used now in Google Slides. And then the third and final example, uh, Duet AR being used uh, in Google Sheets. And instead of saying, help me visualize, it says help me organize and the example they are using is an agenda for a one day sales kickoff. So those are some of the um, key announcements that Google has made recently regarding Duet AR, which is currently being tested over in Google Workspace Labs. Now these features are not available to the general public as yet. They are rolling out to a limited subset of users. And if you wanna test out the Duet AR as I have shown you in this video, you can sign up and join Google Workspace Labs which lets select users experiment with new generative AR features. And then um, that helps provide feedback to Google so they can improve the features. And I'll leave a link down below to the sign up page if you would be interested uh, to join Google Workspace Labs. Now that's the generative AR, Duet AR um, features out of the way. And now just to focus on, if you want to stick around, um, some changes that Google uh, will and is making to Google Chat. Now, um, Currently, this is what the Google Chat icon looks like and the logo looks like. And, and in regards to this, at Google's recent keynote um, in a slide presentation given at that keynote, a new chat icon was briefly spotted. And this is what the new chat icon looks like. So here to the left-hand side, we can see taking on a very similar look and feel now to the other logos for the different Google Workspace apps. Now, we can see that it still looks like a bubble. So if we go back to the current a chat logo got that bubble look and there we go very similar and um, still has a kind of similar layout and um, outline but yeah we can see that the majority of the green has been replaced with green and blue and then a little bit of red and then some yellow and then obviously um the white is um uh, the center is white where currently as we can see it's all you know solid so they've taken that solid green out of the center and given it a white backdrop so and um, that could be rolling out recent, um, um, shortly to uh, Google Chat. And I haven't noticed this recently. Um, it hasn't rolled out yet, but just bringing your attention to that because that was spotted recently at Google's keynote. And then the um, last change regarding uh, Google Chat, as we can see from this example provided by Google, um, is a feature they are calling Smart Compose, which if you do use um, Gmail as an example on your Android phone, you would have seen already. So um, yeah, we can see from the example, 
here at the bottom. Uh, when you start typing, Google will make suggestions in a light gray color to the right of what you've already written. And that's called Smart Compose, which I actually think um, when this does become available, which I think it may be available already in Google Chat. So go check it out. I think it will be a nice handy option. Just a quick way using Smart Compose just to help you out when you are responding to different chats and so on. So that's just a bit of um, updates regarding the different Google apps and services. And mainly, as mentioned, using generative AI with Duet AR now in some of the Google apps like Sheets, Slides, and Docs. And obviously, I'll keep a close eye on this one. And if any more info does become available, I will obviously post and let you guys know accordingly. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.